This video demonstrates a predictable and reliable method of placing an orthodontic separator. This is particularly useful when undertaking the whole technique, which will be covered in a separate video. Examine the tooth under direct vision if possible, or indirectly with a mirror, depending on the location of the tooth. It is important that the tooth is examined when clean and dry and under good light. Thread two pieces of floss through the orthodontic separator. Ensure that the floss strands do not cross. Grasp the floss between your thumb and index finger and apply tension to the band. The separator must be circumscribing the contact area. If too much pressure is applied, the separator may be pushed apical to the contact point and become submerged into the gingival sulcus. If you are happy that the separator is in the correct position, then release your grip on one end of each piece of floss. Gently pull on the floss to remove it. When working with a patient, it is often useful to get them to help you at this point. Instruct them on how to remove the floss and allow them to gently pull one end. An alternative technique of separator placement, pass the floss through the contact point. You can then drag the separator below the contact point and pull upwards, pulling the leading edge of the separator through the contact area. 